Hey guys, it's Nicole. We are on day 18 of our July stretch challenge, 31 day stretch challenge. So we're going to jump right into it. Hope you're having a great day. It's a nice sunny day out here. Take a deep breath in, reach up and over. Exhale, roll those shoulders out. Make sure that you are nice and warm. Walk around a little bit. Take a little short five minute warm up before you do deep stretches with me. Again, inhale, lift. Exhale, shoulders down and back. Nice and long. Let's reach it up and over together this time. So up and over, length through the abs, straighten those legs, reach up and extending through that right side. Shoulders and hips face this direction. Back to center. Again, reach up and over. Back to center. Now I'm gonna take it all the way down into a long flat back. My toes are turning out. My hips are turning out. Level through the spine. Neck is in line with that spine. Extend nice and long. You've got to keep the legs active and working through here. I'm getting a lot in the back of the legs. My abs are drawn in. My low back is holding me up. And go ahead and take it all the way down. Relax it over wherever that is for you. I'm just going to keep those legs straight today. Let's take it over to one side. You can micro bend in the knees if you need to. Try to even the weight between both legs. that breath moving other side take it over I'm getting a deep stretch on that left side right now back to center bend the knees roll everything up one piece at a time and shoulders back and down my neon green glasses are falling off for you guys today all right I'm gonna take it into a deep runner's lunge so We'll go into the railroad track position here, making sure I'm not on a balance beam. The back leg is straight behind the hip it's coming from. Here's your first position for your runner's lunge. Extending through that back leg, your heel may not be touching. It's up to you where, how flexible you are. Main thing you wanna do is make sure the knee is over the ankle, not over the toe, and we'll take it all the way down. So in this position, we're gonna extend through the back leg. My heel is reaching behind so I can get deeper into that um, back of the leg and releasing you in through my foot. I'm gonna take this supporting hand, opening up here, right arm lifts. Knee stays over the ankle. I'm getting a deep twist. And back down, we're gonna take it a little deeper in today. So let's walk the foot out slightly. I'm gonna turn out this knee. My toe faces out this direction. And I'm gonna drop that back leg. Knee is on the ground. Let me give you a side position here. So the knee is on the ground. I'm turning that front toe down. My knee is out wide here. And I'm opening up the front of the leg here in the hip flexor. Lifting through the chest, really just releasing into the front of that leg to get that hip flexor nice and warm. Inhale, exhale. If you wanna take it a little further, you can take it down onto the elbows. Just an option. Nice and low. Inhale, exhale. Now I'm getting a deep stretch in this inner thigh as well in the front. Hands back down. Walk it back to center. First thing I need to do is get back on the toe. Now walk this foot back to center. Again, now I'm squared off here. I'm gonna bring the back leg in a little closer and just lift those hips. So I'm on that railroad track position, not lined up in a balance beam. Hips, shoulders are square. Slightly pulling back with my front hip and aligning the hips side by side to really get into those hips and glutes, hamstrings and calves getting a stretch here as well. Bend the knees, slowly bring it up and bring those feet together. So again, we'll do the other side. Your standing railroad track position is where we're gonna start. Hips, shoulders, everything facing here. Front knee is over the ankle, not the toe. And then we'll work it down. If you can't get down to the ground, that's fine. You can go ahead and use like a yoga block or something that you can place down here so that you can get further down, but might maybe not all the way to the ground. Extend back, I'm extend the back leg, reaching for the heel in that back leg. Get a little deeper in the stretch. The back leg just doesn't just sink in this one. It stays active. Okay, so now I'm gonna take it all the way down. I'm gonna give you that side view. So I'm here, I'm gonna um, walk out the front leg, 
turn it out, my walk on my toes. Then I'll drop onto the knee in the back, turn down that foot, and I'm starting to open up the hip flexor here. If I want to go a little deeper, I'll take it all the way down to the elbows. Maybe walk out that front foot just a little more, getting into the thigh. Maybe giving it a little pressure here with the elbow onto the inner thigh and getting a little deeper stretch through there. Inhale, exhale, making sure to breathe. Hands back down, or we're gonna get back onto that back foot. Lift, walk the foot back into that center square position. Hips are square, bring the back leg in a little. Now lift those hips high, drop the back heel. My shoulders, hips, and toes are all facing the same direction. I'm getting a lot of stretch through the uh, back side of that front leg. Bend the knees, slowly bring it up, and feet together. Nice work, okay, so let's take it down to the ground. We'll take it all the way down with the feet in front today. I'm gonna go ahead and sit nice and tall right on top of those sit bones. So let's keep those hands active, lifting open through the chest. I've gotta bend my elbows a little bit because I have really long arms for my body. Um, but whatever feels comfortable for you, you can have them here, you can have them turned here, or you can just have them lightly onto the legs, but keep your body active. Flex and point through the toes. Relax with the shoulders and sit nice and tall. Roll out the feet. Well, oh, that feels good. And reverse. Let's go ahead and keep them flexed, active, right under the sit bones, lengthen the body, lengthen the neck. Reach up and out this direction, nice and long. Neck stays in line with the spine. Inhale, exhale, release down when you're ready. Relax the upper body. Slowly roll it up, shoulders down and back. All right, let's go into our twist. Let's bring that left leg in, right leg over. Wherever that twist is for you, either here or all the way, sitting nice and tall on top of those sit bones. Here or extended further, pushing out of the back arm, lifting through the spine. Crossing and twisting through that torso. Hmm. All right, that feels good. Let's go ahead and release that top foot, so don't go too far. I just like to say soften the top leg. I'm gonna place both cheeks on the ground. Um, this is a nice fire log position is what it's called, but it's pretty intense. So if it's too much for you, put your foot down on the ground. Otherwise, if you're here, we're stacked. Both uh, cheeks are on the floor, hips on the floor. Flex that top foot for protection, reach up and over. Extend out, inhale, exhale slowly. It's a lot into that right hip, relax over. And release, come back up. Shoulders down and back, we'll change up the feet. So right leg in. Left leg over, wherever that twist is for you, we lift nice and tall through the spine. Backhand lifts the body, opposite arm crossing and lifting as we twist that torso. And gently release, let's soften the top leg. So flex the foot or place it down on the floor in front of you. Make sure that you're seated right on top of those sit bones. Reach and extend up and over, slowly relax and release the upper body. And release and come back up. All right, I'm gonna take you into a hip position on your belly. So I'll try to do this at an angle so you can see all the way down, nice and slow. Okay, so this is something that um, a lot of times you'll see dancers will do this. So we're gonna be dancers today. So hands are here, gonna cradle under your face. Um, I'm gonna turn the knees out as wide as they can get without totally pushing my back. 
and my um, lower back are totally, totally pushing the butt up in the air. You wanna try to keep it down, getting the hips to either touch the ground or be pretty close. And I'm putting my feet together, kind of like I'm a seal and water animal here clapping my fins. Um, so my uh, heels and my toes are touching and I'm lifting upward with the direction of my toes. So my hips are open. This is just a hip opener, releasing, using gravity to open those hips. And I'm gonna take it all the way down, rest the head. Okay, as I get more flexible in this position, as I breathe and release, I can try to get the feet slightly closer to the ground, but my toes are still lifted. They're not pointing down. They're still reaching to the sky. And there's definitely a point where you're not gonna be able to go very much further. So just hang there, take a breath. Without putting too much pressure on that low back. And we'll go ahead and release the legs. Square that position off. Hands here go into a modest, modified sphinx. So elbows are close right under the shoulders, hands here. Lift, press down through that pubic bone and lifting and lengthening through the crown of the head. I like to think of my extended spine versus arching it up. I just want to lift and lengthen. Pressing down through those hips into the ground. My uh, top of my feet are pushing down the ground firmly. Inhale, exhale, shoulders are away from my ears. And I'll take it back into a child's pose. I like to widen the legs. You can choose what works for you. Pull back. Hands down, lift the chest. We'll keep the knees nice and high. Thread one arm under. Open up that opposite arm, lift. Take it onto the back if you choose. My focus is to the side. I'm just resting on the side of the head. And back to center, let's do the other side. So we'll thread the arm under, lift. Bring it back, use both hands for leverage. We'll do a quick rounded back. And release, lifting the tail, rounding it up. We'll take that cat position. And release onto the toes. I'm just gonna bring it back, roll the body up nice and slow. Shoulders down and back, take a deep breath in. Hold it all the way down. Bend those knees. Slowly roll it up, inhale and exhale. Thank you guys, great job. I'll see you tomorrow.